Still got five port keys to walk, 45 brilliant foundables to find, highest level fortress to accomplish to finish up Dumbledore's army, part two. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. Over at Special Assignments, you can see I didn't mention the Brewing 10 Potions in the intro because I did accomplish that over the night last night. So let's collect that. It gets me four Snowdrop, which I have run out of, so now I can brew more potions, but I don't need to at the moment. So, um, But you can see I still need to return the 45 Brilliant Event Foundables. Well, I'm down to 39 now. I did manage to get six overnight around my house. And then Extimula Potion, when we go to the challenge, we'll do that and then run more if we need to. Wizarding Challenge in my highest chamber, we will do that later. I'll probably go sit down for that. And the five port keys, let's go over my port keys. I'll show you the situation right now. The 2.5 that I've been walking, I'm only 0.3 away. So that'll finish pretty quickly. And then I've been picking up port keys and hoping for one kilometer. So I've got two of them right now. So those will be the next ones to get it so that this can go a little bit faster and try to get through that. But I'm up at Waverly Place today, and what I'm looking at doing, because, and I'm not, I'm actually off the beaten path a little bit, over by those inns you see there is where the main crux is, but it's really crowded today. Um, so I, and I wanted to be able to take my mask off and speak. So anyway, I've got five around me right now, but when I get over there, there'll be a ton. I probably won't even throw a tonic on. And gonna go ahead and get rid of the 45 brilliance first, and then after that, we'll work on the highest chamber, and we'll continue to walk those port keys. That didn't take too long. Pretty good spawn rates around Waverly Place. Just anywhere where there's a lot of people. Shopping centers always always seem to have really good spawn rates just because lots of cell phone activity, which is what the spawn rates are essentially based on. So anyway, I uh, returned 45 Brilliant. I'm going to go ahead and collect that. Uh, potent Extimula, which is nice. I don't use them often. I really just save them for special occasions. Essentially, essentially something that I so rarely see, like Swooping Evils used to be that way. Um, just something I see so rarely that when I see it, I'm like, I cannot afford to have this get away. I won't see one for another three months. So it's been stuff like that. Definitely not in fortresses. I don't think I've ever used a potent in fortresses. Almost always extimulos. And even then it's because I'm forced to use them, which segues right into our next step, which is use any extimulo potion and wizarding challenge 10 times and the one wizarding challenge in my highest chamber. So we are about to do that um, because then I want to walk the port keys. And actually, let me just back out and kind of show you. Um, Waverly Place does not have a lake, so the lake you're seeing on the screen is not Waverly. I've moved. Once I finish those 45, even though the spawn rates around Waverly are great, walking around there, it's like walking around a shopping center. So there are sidewalks, but it's just you're walking around stores and parking lots. So it's not very fun or exciting. So since I still have um, three port keys to go, because actually if you look right there, you can see I'm two out of five. And if we go over to the port keys themselves, you'll see um, I have one ready. So um, I've already unlocked that essentially. So that's not going to count for anything. But then I have two more 1Ks lined up. And then I'm hoping to pick up one more 1K. Oh, wait, there it is. Sorry. 0.4 out of one on this. So I have 0.6 left and then those two. Yeah, I knew I had got, I knew I had had five like ready at this point. So I need to walk the rest of that one and these two. So if I'm going to walk 2.6 kilometers instead of walking around parking lots, this is right down the road. I've talked about that before. Um, at a Cocoa Booth Amphitheater, I was just there the other day. But anyway, you can see it's just a nice loop. And if I'm having to walk anyway, there's wildlife, that kind of stuff. So anyway, it's a much more pleasant walk. It's much more um, scenic. So we are going to go on a walk after I finish this highest chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and get on the night bus, do the highest chamber, use as many extimulos as I can in there, and then I'll run maybe one more fortress to get the rest of the extimulos in the chamber, uh, in the uh, fortresses themselves. Um, so we'll finish up that, and then we'll actually go for a walk around the lake. But, I, you know, but before we do that, that greenhouse... Oh! 
So somebody plays that comes here other than me. Um, and I, cause I don't see that a lot. And, and that greenhouse has got toadstool in it. The other day I was here and someone had planted toadstool and it was about three and a half hours away. And you can see this one when you click on it, four hours and 43 minutes. I'm not gonna be here in five hours. So um, I won't get to participate in that particular harvest, but it does mean somebody's here and they're planting toadstools, which tells me they're not just planning to plan. It's not a new player that's just like, oh, let me try something out. When it's toadstools consistently, it, it probably, it means somebody that's probably leveling because they need the toadstools. And then it's also meaning they, they kind of understand the game enough to know they need toadstools to get the brufios to get the experience. So I'd really like to figure out who this is. At some point I need to come back like, you know, four hours and 45 minutes and go near this greenhouse and just see who comes over. But anyway, let's hit the highest chamber, get those stimulus done and I'll see you on the other side. That wasn't too bad. Um, dark five, that's my highest chamber. So I ran that. You saw uh, most of the highlights of that. And then after that, I ran like a tower three or four because um, I needed to use two more. I managed to use eight during that. And the reason, I will say everybody did great in my chamber, but there were two R's, two professors and one magic zoologist. And just by bad luck, we got a ton of acromantulas and urklings, which ours who do more damage are not um, proficient against. In fact, are, are minus. It's like the worst thing they could go against. Not only that, but we got like, I know we got at least two um, elite um, acromantulas, uh, highest level too. So it was like, oh my gosh, it was just the, it, which are the worst. And for those, we almost had to let the magic you all just take it. So I ended up fighting two different acromantulas and an urkling. And although they weren't doing much damage to me, it just took me forever to chip away at them. Um, the R's had stuff to deal with, not a lot of pixies or werewolves at all. So me and the other professor were having to hit stuff we don't normally hit. Like I said, everybody did fine. It was just, we were all fighting things that we weren't good against, or at least not proficient against. And the magic wall just had their hands full for sure. But bravery was class, proficiency, focus was passed. All the good things just ended up using eight extimulos. I didn't use stronger potents because I did want to burn through them. Them. So I purposely used regular stimulos, only three casts. So some acromantulas, I might've used three because I went through six casts of extimulo, just chipping away. Meanwhile, they're doing almost nothing back to me because I'm shielded and got all the other stuff going. But bottom line, finish the highest chamber, use the 10 extimulos. So let's go ahead and collect that, 10 spell energy and a spell book. So as I've already said, all we have left are the obtain five port keys by unlocking portman two. So if we go over to port keys, in the port keys, um, yeah, 0.5. I haven't moved and remember it was 0.4 before. Um, so I guess it updated that last 0.1 or just sitting in my car, I shifted 0.1 kilometers. But anyway, I've got half a kilometer there and then I'm gonna have to do the other two. So I've got two and a half kilometers. We're gonna walk around this lake right here, which should be, I think that should do it. I think it's about two and a half kilometers. Um, walk around there, get those done, meet back here at the car and we'll finish up the task for this event. Um, I'm sure I'll catch some things along the way, but I won't be stopping to catch things specifically. I'll definitely make sure I keep moving no matter what. So even if I'm trying to catch things, I'll keep moving as I do it, even if it's to the detriment of my spell casting. By the way, I haven't mentioned, it's actually a super nice day. It's about 70, a little over 70 degrees out. The sun is out, slight breeze, so not cold. I'm short sleeve t-shirt, um, but it's it's really nice. So that's one the other reason I, instead of walking around a parking lot, I'm like, I wanna go, go walk and have some fun with this. My recommendation to you, if you ever have port keys to walk, events like this, save those port keys for last and then then just go for a walk. If you're able to get out, of course, do this safely. All right, let's get going. If you're able to get out of your house and safely walk, 
around a pond or a lake. I highly recommend it. It's so good for the soul to get out in nature. So anyway, that that was really relaxing. It was really relaxing. I did manage to return a bunch of uh, Brilliant Foundables kind of on the move, you know, in between just walking, getting some of that footage, some birds out there. There was a turtle, but I couldn't quite get it into focus. It was underwater. So you didn't see that, but you saw a lot of the rest of the walk. It really was lovely out. Not a lot of people out surprising because it's a really nice thing. But more importantly, did we get the port keys done? Yes, we did. We got the fifth port key. And actually, it almost, this must be around two and a half kilometers because it really was pretty close to my car coming back to here, which is just finishing that complete loop. That was right when that last port key uh, unlocked. So I get a silver key for that, collect there. And then that's going to get us 2,000 experience, uh, 100 family experience, five uh, Defense Against Dark Arts books, um, one um, new. Uh, badge and then 20 spell energy. Um, that 100 family experience is actually going to put me at max rank too because I'm at 65 now. In fact, I'm almost at 65 asterisk, like max ranking it. Before I even get to the car, I, I'm probably about, I think I'm like 11 family experience away from doing that. So the 100 will certainly put it over. So let's collect that first. Woohoo! finish up the event. And as always, it tells me time is up to complete the event. They really should just change the wording on this because time is not up to complete it. I've just completed it. This goes all the way until Tuesday. So it's almost silly um, for them to say that, to say it like time is up, like I just finished. So anyway, let's go over to the registry and look at this max rank up. Oh, apparently, Kara Magic Creatures had a rank up for me too. Nice. There we go. Actually, there'll be a max rank up and then there'll be some rank ups after. Yeah, as I say, I think two more. That was one. That was two. Yep, maximum rank reach. You've re reached maximum rank for this family, so. So I've really essentially done everything you can do during the event. I can't think of anything else I would be doing. I mean, unless I wanted to get more images here. But I mean, even Luna and the Dueling Dummy, I do have max fragments for them right now. The Dumbledore's coins can't get any more Dobby. I don't feel like walking any Portman too, and I don't need those fragments for anything. Um, but so I finished that and then I've max ranked this, which is completely cosmetic. It doesn't get you anything, which it would be cool if it did get you something. It would be like the last bonus bonus task is after you finish the bonus task or even before, if you max rank, you just get one more thing. It would that would be cool. I don't know what it would be. It could be something um, consumable. It could be a Barufios. It could be a tonic for trace detection. It could be a badge that just it says max rank reached or something. Or what would be cool is if there was maybe an achievement for a number of max ranks. So it would be all the families, of course, and that would be a, you know, a specific number. But then as Brilliant Events came out, you would just keep building it higher and higher. Um, and maybe different levels would get you something. I don't know. Just throw in some ideas to, to make it where it would be more interesting for people... Not, this would be for non-casual players, obviously, but those of us that do finish the event and the event's still going on, it's like, well, what are we doing? Well, okay, rank 65. Now, granted, I just got it today, but sometimes I won't have it by today. So tomorrow and the next day, those last few days of the event, that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm going for that max rank for no reason, just, just to max rank it. But if there was a small reward at the end, that would be a particularly kind gesture on poor key games part. Over in challenges, I may have a rank up because of, yeah, I was about to say, um, running, yeah, 145, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to max rank in challenges. And actually, I do have two things to play. So right here, um, I've got the rockets to play. So are they rockets? That was 1,200 challenge experience because it's gold page. What are those called again? Exploding Whiz Popper. Exploding Whiz Popper. I don't know why I couldn't remember. And I do have a wand to place too. It's down here. I can't remember whose it is when we click on it, and I couldn't click on it to find out. But let me click on it. There we go. Now I'm on the low page here, so that was just 80 challenge experience. Let's say who's one? Is that Fred's? I was like, I think it's Fred or George's. So Fred's. There we go. So I only have one wand on this page actually left. Is it George's? It's George's. I think I got a piece of that very recently. Was it? I don't even think it was today, but I got it recently. Cool. One thing we haven't checked in on is my experience level recently. So I'm level 49. I'm about to hit 50. So, I, you know, it always feels like a landmark uh, a level. But 50 will open up a new node for me, which is nice. So 700,000 experience is what I need. I'm at 267. So not bad. I'm approaching 
approaching the halfway point, I say. I'm definitely past a third. I did that a little bit ago. Um, but slowly grinding it out. I really should, if I did a couple sessions, I think I could get there a little quicker. But at this point, I'm really just not rushing it. That is gonna do it for this event. Um, I've definitely enjoyed this event and I've enjoyed the last couple. I mentioned that the other day. Um, this event, I still feel like it's, it was the right um, level of difficulty for most people, I would guess. I, it's hard to say because um, especially for potions for me, because I have so many potions on reserve and I'm always going out and collecting ingredients that when I, you know, when I see 10 extimulos, I'm like, oh, no problem. Now, if it's somebody that doesn't brew all the time, or, or I guess just somebody that wouldn't, maybe that would be a, a more difficult part. I, the reason I'd like to see um, the master notes ones, too many master notes and too many potions taken out is actually just more for the um, lack of interesting level of it. So this event is Dumbledore's Army. Uh, I don't remember Dumbledore's Army ever doing a ton with potions. So it, those are thrown in more um, meta. It's more of a meta goal because potions are in the game, so we're going to have to do some potions things. But it has nothing to do with the event. I would have loved to see more event stuff, especially the, the missed opportunity I see here. Dumbledore's Army was them training in Dark Arts, uh, Defense Against Dark Arts, um, how to perform better spells. So what's one of the ones they ta taught? Well, he taught uh, the Patronus Charm. So why wouldn't they have had uh, maybe an increase in some other foundables where it's the, you have to use the Patronus and you have to get, I don't know, just maybe cast it so many times would be fine. Or since it was also just about, um, in general, just getting better at your spell casting and protection and things like that, maybe, um, of some kind of more fortress goals that weren't so bland. You know, maybe it's in fortresses, do so many um, hexes or so many uh, charms, that kind of thing. Just something more strategic. Or just, I would, I actually haven't seen this a lot, which is something I'd like to see him go back to, is make it where we have to get, I don't know, say in the one of the first levels, we have to get uh, good or better spell casts. 10, and then we have to get, or say 15, then we have to get 10 or better great spell casts in the third set of tasks. And then in the fourth set of tasks, we need to get masterful. We have to get X number of masterful, just say five. I'm keeping these numbers pretty low, I feel, for, for having a week to do them and that kind of thing. But it, it goes with the flavor of it, and it's teaching somebody how to do the game more. If you're a newer player, it's saying, you know what, you got, you've got to get good at this. And Pokemon Go does it, and that, that's what I'm likening it to, is when they do it, I feel like it's a reasonable thing, and it does encourage people to try to get better at, at certain things. So anyway, Dumbledore's Army, I think, missed opportunity there to have the task not just be the same old task, but actually have to do with training to be in Dumbledore's Army since that's what this event was about. That would have been cool to do. Again, I'm always pointing out these things not to say I didn't like the event and here's what I didn't like about it. I'm saying I liked the event. Now, how can we make this better? How can we make put more flavor into this, not make it seem like the same thing over and over? And that's why I give those, those suggestions. I have no idea if Portkey ever watches this um, or anybody on the Wizard Unite team. But if they did, boom, there you go. Or maybe me saying it will make somebody post something on Reddit and then that'll get seen. It can't hurt to put it out into the universe and see if it has it makes a difference and to just see if other people have um, other good ideas that they might put out. As always, thank you guys for watching the video today. Glad we were able to finish up the event and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.